research and development, we encounter a variety of unanticipated issues. That's when I realize we're at the forefront of research, and that's what makes it fun. The discoveries we make as we go are what make the research in this project so interesting. The concentration of CO2 in the atmosphere is rising, and global warming has become a worldwide problem. But its concentration is only 400 parts per million. It's important that we remove this diffuse CO2 that's accumulated in the atmosphere. In that sense, it's an extremely challenging goal. But that's what we're focusing on in our research and development. Until now, the conventional way of recovering CO2 of high purity required high energy input from a large scale source of energy. But we're developing a process to utilize unused cold heat from liquefied natural gas, LNG, to release CO2 from an alkaline solution and turn it into dry ice. It will be a new energy-saving technology that doesn't require heat energy to release the CO2 from the absorption liquid. Cryodac is a method of direct air capture, DAC, at low temperatures. CO2 is first concentrated in an alkaline solution. To concentrate only the CO2, the conventional method was to apply heat to release the CO2. But we utilize the unused cold heat from LNG to turn the CO2 gas into dry ice. The internal pressure is lowered, creating a vacuum to release the CO2. This allows the recovery of CO2 of high purity. It also allows the capture of CO2 as dry ice, which, when returned to room temperature in a closed system, can be used to make high-pressure CO2 or liquid CO2. Transportation and underground storage of CO2 consumes a huge amount of energy and requires compression. A major feature of our system is that it allows the manufacturing of high-pressure CO2 or liquid CO2 without the need for compression. There has always been technology for cooling and separating CO2, but our idea is unique in that we rely on an absorption liquid to concentrate the CO2, then use cold heat to release it. We're currently designing the details of a bench scale facility to realize this process on a small scale. If our technology is put to practical use and the cold heat from LNG distributed throughout the world were to be utilized, we estimate CO2 capture of around 300 million tons. That would amount to 30% of the global target of 1 billion tons by DAC. That's an impressive figure. But we still face many obstacles. We hope to make steady progress by overcoming these issues one by one. We'll realize energy efficiency in direct air capture through unique technology based on the utilization of unused cold heat. <laughs>